If the devil were real, what would be his methods to gain followers of the human race? Han Meditation. Hey guys, as you can see, I have all these journals. The link will be in the description. Hello guys, I am Han. This is Kelly. We are Han Meditations and we're back with another video. Today we have a specialized question from Kelly. I'm going to give her the honors to go ahead and ask the question because she thought of it. And it's a very interesting and introspective question. It's you want to talk a little bit about the question before and what made you think of this question? You want to get right into it. Well, of course, if you've seen our channel, if you haven't, go check it out if you watch this one. We've been on a rage with these chat GPT videos mm -hmm. asking philosophical and religious questions to get probably as unbiased as you can in this day and age of an answer from an AI system. So it's absolutely fascinating, really unexpected answers. And of course, it makes us just wonder more things. And I have been wondering about the devil. I've been wondering about the devil, not because I'm interested in the devil, but because I want to know this. Let's get into it. Today, I want to know about the devil. Everything you know about the devil from religious text and philosophical with an unbiased answer. If the devil were real today in this day and age, what would be his methods to gain followers of the human race? The concept of the devil, or a figure representing evil and opposition to God, exists across many religions and philosophical systems. While details vary, the core idea is often the same. The devil is a being or force that embodies rebellion against divine authority and tempts or deceives humanity into wrongdoing. Here's a breakdown of what various religious texts and philosophies say about the devil, followed by a reflection on how such a figure might operate in the modern world. In religious texts, one, in Christianity, the devil, also known as Satan, meaning adversary, is a prominent figure in both the Old Testament and the New Testament. In the book of Genesis, the serpent who tempts Eve to eat the forbidden fruit is often associated with Satan, though the text doesn't explicitly name the serpent as the devil. In the New Testament, Satan tempts Jesus in the wilderness, Matthew 4, 1 to 11. He is portrayed as a tempter who offers worldly power in exchange for allegiance. Revelation describes Satan as a dragon leading a cosmic battle against God and eventually being cast into a lake of fire, Revelation 12, 9, 20 verse 10. Satan is often described as a fallen angel who rebelled against God. Some traditions draw on Isaiah 14, 12, 15, and Ezekiel 28, 12 to 17, passages about the king of Babylon and the king of Tyre, respectively, to depict his fall from grace, though interpretations vary. Two in Islam, in the Quran, the devil is called Iblis. When God created Adam, Iblis refused to bow to him, considering himself superior because he was made from fire while Adam was made from clay. Surah 7, 11, 18, Surah 38, 71 to 85. As a result, Iblis was cast out of heaven, becoming Shaitan, Satan, and his primary goal is to lead humans astray. He vows to mislead them from the straight path by tempting them into disobedience. Surah 15, 39 to 40. However, Satan does not have ultimate power over humans. He can only whisper and tempt. It is up to humans to resist his influence. Surah 422. Three, in Judaism, the concept of the devil in Judaism is less personified than in Christianity or Islam. The Hebrew Bible mentions Satan as an accuser or adversary, but he is not always depicted as the embodiment of evil. In the book of Job, Satan appears as part of God's court, testing Job's faith by bringing him suffering, Job 1, 6, 12. In this context, Satan is more of a figure who tests righteousness, not necessarily an ultimate evil being. Jewish texts do speak of evil inclinations, Yetzer Hara, and the role of spiritual adversaries. But Satan doesn't hold the same prominence as a distinct personality. Or, in other philosophical and religious systems, Zoroastrianism introduces the concept of Araman, an evil spirit opposing Ahura Mazda, the creator god. This dualistic struggle between good and evil influences later monotheistic religions. In Gnosticism, the material world is often viewed as the creation of an evil or ignorant being called the Demiurge, which sometimes is linked to devil-like figures who trap human souls in the material plane. 
The Devil's Methods of Gaining Followers in Modern Times. If the devil were real and active in today's world, his methods would likely adapt to the cultural and technological realities of the modern era. Here's mm. how he might gain followers. One, temptation through materialism and consumerism. In a world that often values material success and wealth, the devil could tempt people by encouraging an obsession with material gain at the expense of ethical values. This could manifest as corruption, greed, or a win-at-all-costs mentality. The idea of selling one's soul for fame or fortune is a timeless narrative that might be even more relevant today with the widespread influence of social media and the desire for instant success. Two, manipulation of technology and media. The devil could use modern media platforms such as social networks, news outlets, and entertainment mm. to spread misinformation, sow division, and promote unhealthy lifestyles. He might exploit people's dependence on technology, fostering feelings of isolation, envy, or dissatisfaction, tempting them to seek validation in unhealthy ways. Three, deception through relativism. In a world where moral relativism is common, where people believe that moral truths are subjective, the devil could blur the lines between right and wrong encouraging the belief that anything goes as long as it serves personal goals. He might promote the idea that there is no absolute truth or that moral compromises are acceptable in the pursuit of pleasure or power. Mm. Or exploitation of weaknesses. The devil could target human vulnerability. Well, hello. Well, that's interesting because I like how it described it where it even said, in one of their religions, they said the devil is evil and ignorant. And that's basically, you know, I don't think the devil is ignorant. I think the devil knows a whole lot. And that's why the devil is here to trick people. That's why you see Satan and everything. You see the music industry. We did a video talking about Diddy and what's going on there and just the nastiness and the evilness that's going on behind the scene with all these celebrities. And that's why you can only worship God. You can't worship people other than God because you have all these celebrities that people are worshiping these celebrities. They're loving them. They're thinking, oh, this person's going to save me. I love this person. Da, 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 da. But this person is really an evil person behind the scenes. And that's just absolutely insane to me that people are even operating and thinking that about these celebrities. These are just normal, weird freaks, especially in Holly Weird and these different places where these people are doing all the nastiest, most degrading stuff they possibly can for money. And that's mm -hmm. what happens whenever you let Shaitan come in and trick you in materialism and you you think everything has to do with money and wealth and no, nothing has to do with God anymore. How it said they try and break people down and, and tell people that there isn't the truth anymore left is right real is fake it even said you heard it in there people want you to believe that things that you can see with your own eyes aren't real blurring the truth blurring the lines between right and wrong for the sake of doing what feels good to you is basically what i was saying so those answers were getting really really interesting and of course i mean we could totally deep dive on this but these are just we're sticking to the answers of the chat gpt if you want to see us deep dive into these responses definitely comment below because i was really intrigued by some of these answers i'm talking about the misinformation of the modern media i mean mm -hmm. wow that was getting Kelly, crazy. you did a good job with that question right there i'll tell you Thank what you, you did a good job I'm proud of you. I love you, man. You did a good job with that one. Love you too. You're going hard on the channel now. And, you know, I think people like to hear what you have to say. Do you guys like to hear what Kelly has to say? Let her know if you do like to hear what she has to say, because, you know, it's a positive thing. And we, and we like to see that. We like to see positivity. So thank you guys for being here. All you have to do is like, subscribe, and comment. That's all you need to do. For the people that donate to the channel, you're really the ones keeping the channel going. We see all your beautiful messages. We see everything, whether it's a dollar, a hundred dollars, one cent. We love it all and we need it all and we need it more than you realize. So thank, thank you guys you so much, so much, guys. And we'll see you in, in the, the next, next video. video. We love you. Thank you.